Hi everyone, welcome to the video on your weighted assessment 1. So you have set for your WA1, some of you have done pretty well, some of you have a lot of things that you will need to learn to catch up. So in this video, what I suggest is if you could, you watch the video once, then you can stop the video and do the corrections by yourself. I think this will make the learning more useful than just copying the corrections as the video runs. Okay, so consider that you watch it first, then close it and do it by yourself. Okay, so let's go to question number one. Write 5904 in numbers. So let's revise on our place value chart. We have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. All right, now 5,000, it's just five on the thousands place. 900 is just nine. Four is just four ones. Okay, so if in case you're wondering what to do with the number that is missing, it will be filled up with zero. So the answer for this is 5904. Answer is three. Question number two. The value of the digit 2. So let's look for where the digit 2 is. This is where 2 is. And if we look very closely, this is none other than our tens place, right? So this is 2 tens. 2 tens is the same as 20. Alright, so the answer will be number 2. So this is for page 1 and page 2. Now bear in mind, when I talk about corrections, I would like you to make sure that when you do your corrections, your corrections should not just only have the answer. It must include the steps that I went through in this video, as well as the workings. Okay, the reason why I say this is because some of you have done your corrections earlier, writing only the final answer. I think that is not good learning at all. All right, so let's continue. Question number three. Now, which number below is 10 more than 2,853? Now, 10 is just in the tens place, right? So we want to look for a number that is more than 10. One ten more than that number. So in this case, we have five, all right, as our tens. Okay, so basically we are just looking for 110, more than 510. So 2 will still be 2, 8, no change. Now, but for 5, we are looking for a 10 more than 510. So this becomes 6 tens. 3 is no change. So the answer, 2, 8, 6, 3. Alright, because it is 110 more than 5 tens. Question number four. In which of the following are the numbers arranged from the smallest to the greatest? So over here, we are looking at the smallest number to the greatest number. Okay, so we looked at the first option. We go option by option. So we have got 4617. It's the first number. Remember when we arrange the number, we try to make sure that we put them in boxes so that it is easy for us to tell. 4671, 4716. Okay, so let's check. We are now looking for the smallest number first. All right, starting from the left to right, four, no change, right? So six and six seems to be the next smallest number. So this could be here. Or here. Alright, so we have to decide which one is the smallest. We will have to look at the next number, which is 1 and 7. So in this case, 1 is smaller than 7, right? So this must be the smallest. Okay, then this must be the next smallest. Okay, 
then of course 4716 must be the biggest. Now, with this in mind, you see that 4617, 4671, 4716, they are all arranged nicely already. So the answer is already one. Okay, just nice. You only had to do one round because option one is already the answer. Okay, so remember when you arrange numbers, put them in boxes so that it's easy to compare. Question number five. 4,000 plus 100 plus a nine. Okay, what other numbers are missing in order for you to make the number 4189? The answer is actually the eight that's missing, right? But it is not just eight, but eight tens. All right, eight tens. So we are looking at 80 as the answer. Question number six, an addition. So there is no way why anybody should get addition wrong because uh, this is a simple addition. So we'll start off with nine plus three first. Nine plus three is equals to 12. Okay, then we have one plus six is equals to seven, right? Seven plus five is again 12. Next, we go on to one plus six. One plus, sorry, one plus five. One plus five is six. Six plus two is eight. So eight plus one is equal to nine. So the answer in this case will be nine, eight, two, two. All right, now if you have gotten this addition wrong, I would like you to try it on your own instead of watching this video and following by copying. Try it, all right, to see why you have this question wrong. Okay, now question number seven. Question number seven, I have actually uh, remember going through this lesson, getting you to use a highlighter. All right, now the highlighter is to color the numbers that change. This is 29. Okay, now this is 29, then you have a missing number, then you have 31. Now the reason why I color these two numbers because it seems to me that these numbers in the colored circle are the ones that change. Right, 19 doesn't change. You see 19 is still 19 all the way. Alright, so meaning to say this, if you are going to find out what the number is, this number is going to be the number that's changed. 19 doesn't change. So 29 something, then 31, then 32, right? So what number has changed? 30 is the number. Okay, because the number just changed the top. The first two digits are the ones that changed. 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, 19 doesn't change. So the answer, 3019. Question number 8. 2007 minus 89. Alright, a lot of zeros there. So we will need to try to do a lot of regrouping here. Now, 7 minus 9, we can't do it, right? We need to do a regrouping. But for us to regroup, we are looking at the next place value, 0. There's nothing for us to regroup here. It's nothing for us to regroup here. So we have to try regrouping from here. Okay, so this will bring us to 10. But with this 10, we are going to regroup one out to leave it for here. But that doesn't solve our problem yet. We will still need to regroup and put it over here. So we get 17 instead. Now you notice how neat I put in my subtraction. All right, so when you do your cancellation, you cancel it very nicely so that you will not be confused by what the numbers are. Next, 17 minus 9 would be 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus uh, nothing is 9. 1 minus nothing is 1. Okay, so the answer, 1918. Now, boys and girls, how do I check if 1918 is the correct answer? I would add back. Use my answer, add back. If my answer is correct, I am supposed to get back 2007. So let's check. 
8 plus 9 will be 17. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 8 is 10. So 9 plus 1 is 10. Now, so if you see that I got back 2007, then my answer must be correct, 1918. So this is for question number 8. So far, you realize that actually maths is not very difficult, right? You can see how I do it step by step. Okay, now I'm going to the next question. All right, use the digit to form the largest four-digit odd number. Okay, now again, odd number. So we will need to find out where are all the odd and even numbers first. Four is an even number. 0 is also an even number. Okay, 3 is a, 3 is a odd number. And 7 is also an odd number. Okay, sorry, I made a mistake. Huh? 0 is an even number. Okay, so remember your even and odd numbers. 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Odd numbers will be 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Alright, so basically even numbers are those that can form a pair, a pair of partners. So now let's look at odd number and we want it to be the largest number, right? So for us to do that, let's start off with the largest number first. 7 is the largest number, alright, for sure. So we're going to keep 7 to 7, huh? Now, the next biggest number has to be uh, the number that is still quite big, right? So instead of 7 is already used, so the next number we have left is 4. Okay, so 4 is the next biggest number. Now, next, we look at the next biggest number, which is 3. Now, but the problem is 3 is an odd number, whereas 0 is an even number. Now, I will need to make sure that my last digit is an odd number so that the whole stretch of number will be odd so i am sorry although i want to put three but i have no choice i need to put my three here to make the entire number an odd number remember three is an odd number okay so three i can't do it all right i can't put three although it's very big i have to put it at the last digit the last digit must always be an odd number for it to be an odd then i'm left with zero so this is the answer seven four zero three all right now you will find that this skill we will keep doing this we have started this skill of forming numbers since primary two all right so primary four when you go up one year later you will still have to form numbers like this so it is good that you learn up how to form this kind of numbers largest odd even number smallest odd even numbers just focus the last digit make sure that it is an odd or even number okay so the last digit is the important digit to make sure that the whole number is an odd or even question number 10 two numbers add up to 214 so what does it mean it means that there is a number and another number and these two numbers adds up to 214. One of them is a two-digit number. And the other one is a three-digit number. So a three-digit number and a two-digit number to give you 214. Now, the question is this. What do you want in order for the smallest possible difference? Now, this is to say that these two numbers that you have here, they, are, they must be very close to one another such that when you minus them, you get the smallest difference possible. So I'll give you an example. It could be 99 and 100. You see they are very close to each other, right? The difference is only a difference of 1. It could be 98 and 100. You see, the difference is very small. But in terms of the smallest difference, I think this one wins. 99 is closer to 100. So since we have already found out that 99 uh, is a very good answer, 
let's keep this two digit as 99 because 99 is what gets us very close to the three digit number. So now our challenge would be how to find this three digit number. To find this, all we have to do, because this is a part, part, whole, right? This is a part, this is a part, and this is a whole. How do we find one part of it? We just take the total, the whole, minus away 99, right? We will be able to get what is a three digit number. So let's subtract. So 14 minus 9 is 5. This is 10 minus 9 is 1. 1, 1, 5. So there we have it. We know that this 3 digit is 1, 1, 5 plus 99. So you see 99 is the closest we can ever get for 2 digit. You can't use 98 because that gets the, the gap bigger. You don't want. You want the smallest gap between the two numbers. 99 is closest enough. This will give you 214. Alright, now they want to know what is the difference between these two numbers. So 115 is the first number, 99 is the second number. I want to know the difference between the two. So I need to subtract. Difference means subtract, right? So 15 minus 9 is 6, 10 minus 9 is 1. So in this case, the answer is 16. That's the difference between these two numbers. The two numbers are 115 and 99. Okay, so that's for question number 10. I moved on to question 11. Alright, now question 11 got me pretty happy because a lot of you actually know that this is a part, part, whole model because the total was told to you. So you have a total. This is made up of two people. Okay. Now, these two people have a total of 6, 3, 4. Philip had 2, 9, 5. So the question is how much does John have? This is John. We are unsure how much John have, but this is a part, part, whole model. So part A, we just have to take the whole minus the part. We will know what is the other part. All right, present our workings at the side, 295. So we will do some regrouping here. 14 minus 5 is 9. Okay, let's do a bit of regrouping. This is 12 now because 2 cannot minus 9. So I had to regroup to 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. So this is 3, 3, 9. Okay, this is for part A. John has 3, 3, 9. All right, now question B. How many more stickers does John have than Philip? Now, first of all, John has 339, right? Just now we said. And uh, Philip, just now we said uh, in the story, Philip actually has got 295. Okay, these are the two numbers we have. Can you tell that John actually has more? Can you tell? Can you tell that John actually has more numbers? So in this case, the question is not asking who has more. Huh? We obviously know John has more, but more by how many? So we want to find more by how many, we will need to subtract because we want to see how much more does this person have. So let's find out their difference. 339 minus 295. Let's do some regrouping again. 13 minus 9 is 4. 2 minus 2 is nothing. So there we have it, 44. Okay, this is the answer. Now, hashtag only at the final answer. Some of you do not know the purpose of hashtag. You are putting your hashtag anywhere. Make sure your hashtag is only for section C, word problem. And make sure your hashtag is only at the final answer, not anywhere else. So 339 is the final answer for A. 44 is the answer for B. All right, so that's for question number 11. Next, I go on to question number 12. Now, question number 12, Richie sold 6,000 in January. So in January, Richie sold how much? 6,237 in January. Now he sold fewer in February. 
that means it is a bad month. Ah. He actually sold fewer. All right, now fewer would mean that in the month of February it is lesser. Now, as to lesser by how much, can you tell the story? Did they say lesser by eight four nine? So if you sell fewer by eight hundred and forty nine, let's try to find out how much did he actually sell in February. We want to really know how much he sells in February first. So the first step six two three seven, we will need to minus away eight four nine because. He sold lesser in February, right? So let's try to find out how much exactly did he sell in February. 6237 minus 849. So this is a 2. This is regrouped to 17. 17 minus 9 is uh, 8. So let's regroup some more. This is a 1. This is a 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. Alright, let's regroup again. There's a lot of regrouping here. 11 minus 8 is 3. And you have 5 here. So 5388, what is the meaning of 5388? 5388 just simply means how much he sold in February. Okay, you can see that it's a lot lesser, right? Lesser by 800. Lesser in February. Now, question didn't ask for February only. Question asked for all together. So, for us to do that, we need to find out the total. 6,000 is in January. February is about 5,000. Right? These two numbers. So, let's add up these two numbers. When we add up these two numbers, we will know what is the all together. So, this is the addition. 7 plus 8 is 15. Okay, 4 plus 8 is 12. And then, then you have 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 5 will be 11. So the answer, 11,625. Now some of you will not come across such a big number in the test. So for the purpose of everybody, we will not be deducting any marks if you add it wrongly because we know that this answer can be very big and you have not learned such a big number yet but we will do so in primary four so hashtag this is a final answer eleven thousand six hundred and twenty five we will learn it next year okay now question 13 our last question alice had 155 marbles at first now after giving 30 marbles to peter so now, when you start off with 155 marbles, and when you give off 30, you have 30 lesser, right? So let's find out how much do you have after giving 30 away. Alright, so you land up with 125. Now, this 125 is what Alice have now, right? You gave something to Peter. This is what Alice have now. Let me put a name. This is Alice. Alice has 125 now. Now, both of them had equal number of marbles. What does this sentence mean? Eh? Both of them have equal number of marbles after giving. So meaning to say if 125 is what Alice have now, it also means that now Peter also have 125. Doesn't this make sense? Because now they have both equal, right? If Alice got now 125, that means Peter also must be 125. Now, let's read on the question. How many marbles did Peter have at first? Now, Peter is here, 125. But ask yourself, this 125, was it what he had at first? Not really, right? How come he has 125? He has 125 because Alice was a nice girl and gave him 30. So means to say that actually, even though Peter has 125 now, he didn't have 125 at the beginning. At the start, he didn't have so much because it was only after the nice girl Alice gave him 30. So let's take away the 30 that Alice gave her, give him. Because at the start, in the first place, Peter didn't have so many. All right, The 30 was an extra from Alice. So let's minus off, then we will know how many does Peter have. 
hundred and twenty five. Take away what Alice gave her, gave him. Sorry. So this is twelve minus three is ninety five, and there we have it. That is ninety five for Peter at the start. Then ninety five, when Alice gave him thirty, he got hundred and twenty five. Okay, now I've come to the end of the paper. You realize that there are all two steps word problems now. This is the same thing that I said when we started the test last week. All right, now I'm going to show you now your attendance code, and make sure you copy the attendance code with the corrections in. Remember, W is to watch, which you have watched already. Do your corrections. You need to get the code now, and to make sure your parents sign it. W C C S. So copy down your code. I'm gonna move down. Remember, you can pause the video. The codes are now generated by random. Okay, based on random pressing the calculator, the keyboard. So we'll see all of you back in school with your W C C S worksheet ready.